I'm getting ready for bed. It's been a long, busy day. Thank God I've got tomorrow off. But before I shut it down, I wanted to give a, a shout out to Fonnie Willis. Now, I had fun coming in the, the couple of times that I came in talking about what was going on in the courtroom. But on the drive home, I had to look at what really transpired in that courtroom today. Fonnie Willis may never see this, but you all will see it. And I want y'all to understand how I looked at the events that occurred in the courtroom today. Fonnie Willis went into that courtroom to protect her credibility. She was angry and she had every right to be angry. She stood up for herself and she wanted to correct the lies that had been told about her from the MAGA lawyers and the MAGA nuts. Now, you know, the racist and the MAGA nuts, they are already trying to label her an angry black woman. You even have black people out there on social media talking about, oh, why is she so angry? Well, they're attacking her credibility and her credibility is needed in the field that she works in. Yeah, I would be angry too. They are trying to label her at, 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 this, at the time that this took place as this broke, desperate, promiscuous woman who was trying to get over on the taxpayers of Fulton County. That's why they are digging so hard into the finances. That's why they brought up the lien. That's why they kept trying to bring up um, the fact that she was having hard times at a certain point in her life where she said that she was broke. Well, she was broke because she paid $50,000 to run in an election. She put up her own money, but they were trying to portray her as this broke individual who got with this man, hired this man so that this man could make all of this money from the county and some kind of way he's going to funnel it back to Fonnie Willis. That's what they were trying to insinuate, in my opinion. They were spreading lies about her. She had every right to be angry in that courtroom. And baby, she took them to task. They didn't know who they were dealing with. See, they are used to how they perform. You know, white mediocrity. They weren't ready for an educated black woman, black excellence, and pissed off. I don't know how this is going to end up, but I want to share with you two of my favorite highlights from today. For flights that you may have taken with Mr. Wade. Well, no, no, no. Uh, I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So my question was... You have any problem? I object to getting any personal records of mine. We're not dealing with privilege through a witness. And I'm not, no, 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 I'm not dealing with privilege. What um, we had offered to put them in camera for the court to review, and I just want to know if she has any That's problem. That's something to do with a witness. Baby, she had, to make, she had to make it clear for the record. I'm not on trial. So, no, I object to you digging around into my personal life. Right. No matter how much you want to put me on trial, I'm not on trial. On uh, when the state. Well, it's highly offensive when someone lies on you, and it's highly offensive when they the try judge. to implicate that you slept with somebody the first day you met with them. And I take exception to it. All right, well, Miss Willis. But isn't that how white supremacists and racists always try to portray black women? Um, as promiscuous, as over-sexualized, 
Isn't that how they try to portray us? Isn't that how they look at us? Newsflash, we're more than that. We're educated. We're professional. We own businesses, right? Yeah, we're more than just our hips and our behinds. I'm proud of Fonnie Willis. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm proud of her, period.